Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys Pro Bowler Drops Crazy Quote on Playmaker's Injury The Dallas Cowboys are still celebrating the team's comeback win versus the Pittsburgh Steelers in Week 5, but wide receiver Jalen Tolbert's game-winning touchdown nearly did not happen. Tolbert sustained what appeared to be a hit in the groin area on the previous play and looked like he was going to be sidelined. Dallas called a timeout, which allowed Tolbert to catch his breath enough to remain in the game. Cowboys Pro Bowl offensive lineman Tyler Smith dropped a hilarious quote about Tolbert's injury. Bro, it was miraculous. JT, Tolbert, literally sprained his, expletive, nuts, excuse me, sorry guys, sprained his nuts the play before, Smith told reporters on October 7, 2024. Comes back, makes the game winner. Unbelievable. Extend the play, there's guys playing above the 2.3. Dudes emptying the clip. It was great stuff. Tyler Smith on the game-winning touchdown pass from Dak Prescott to Jalen Tolbert, bro, it was miraculous. JT literally sprained his F, ING nuts, excuse me, sorry guys, sprained his nuts the play before. Then comes back, makes the game winner. Unbelievable. Tolbert has emerged as a key part of the Cowboys' offense and will likely remain heavily involved with Brandon Cook's sidelined. The playmaker posted a career-high seven receptions for 87 yards and a touchdown against the Steelers. After the win, Tolbert did not sound like a player that is concerned about the injury and admitted the ball simply hit him in an area that is less than ideal. It was a low ball, I thought I could get underneath it and ended up taking a one-hopper to the private, s, Tolbert said in his October 7 press conference. I couldn't breathe for a second, but once they called the timeout, I knew I had to go back in the game, my team needed me. That's the moments that I work hard for. I wasn't going to be out in that moment. So, no matter what, I was going on the field and like I said, I knew the play call, Tolbert continued. I knew the options that were available on the play call. Knew the coverage they would run. All I had to do is get through clean and make a play. And like I said, that's what big-time players do in big-time moments. When the ball comes your way, your team's counting on you to make plays. Dak said during training camp that the WR he spends the most time with over summer historically has a great season. This year, Jalen Tolbert was that guy it has been quite the journey for Tolbert after being selected by the Cowboys in the third round of the 2022 NFL Draft with the number 88 overall pick. Tolbert struggled to make a consistent impact during his first two NFL seasons. The wideouts numbers against Pittsburgh topped his entire production during his rookie season in 2022. Dak Prescott took the blame for the missed throw that nearly sidelined Tolbert before the playmaker caught the game-winning touchdown. And then the, touchdown, play we ran is one of our most comfortable plays. That and honestly, the play before that, throwing it to Tolbert low, Prescott explained to reporters on October 7. It's a miss on my part, was halfway in between running it up the middle and trying to throw it low before the safety came back and just wanted one more op, opportunity, at it. And luckily, we had the fourth down, and it was special to get it back to Tolbert. He did a, a great job of coming across the field, getting open. Steelers WR George Pickens under fire after video shows effort against Cowboys. Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver George Pickens had a rough night against the Dallas Cowboys. The third-year receiver was held to 26 receiving yards on three receptions. The effort Pickens showed in the Steelers' 20-17 loss to the Cowboys at Akersher Stadium in week May 5 have played a role in head coach Mike Tomlin giving the receiver a small snap count. Of the Steelers' 58 offensive snaps, Pickens took part in 34. Receivers Van Jefferson and Calvin Austin had snap counts in the 40s. Tomlin said the coaching staff wanted to cut Pickens' snap so the 23-year-old would play at a high level when he was on the field. Not everyone was impressed at the quality of Pickens' performance when his number was called in Week 5. 
NFL analyst Warren Sharp posted videos on X of Pickens running routes against the Cowboys. He asked fans what stood out to them. Most commenters noticed the 2022 second-round pick not playing at full speed and quitting on plays before the whistle. Bro runs at half speed every play, nothing explosive about his routes at all, wrote one fan. Pickens has been running lazy routes for a few seasons now, commented another. Including during practice. Dude is literally jogging, observed one fan. He's lazy when the play isn't designed for him, suggested a poster. I don't think he ran hard once, noticed another. Steelers should have never chose him over Johnson. Loafing as usual, posted a frustrated fan. Pickens did go hard at the end of the game. Following the final whistle, the former Georgia standout grabbed the face mask of Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis, who was seen taunting the Steelers' receiver. Micah Parsons' injury update, Mike McCarthy reveals latest on Cowboys' LB's chances versus Lions. Dallas played late into the night against Pittsburgh, but the effort turned out to be worth it. Dak Prescott fired a game-winning touchdown to Jalen Tolbert in the final minute, giving Mike McCarthy a hometown victory against the Steelers. All without star defensive player Micah Parsons, who missed the game due to injury. Attention for the Cowboys has quickly flipped to the Detroit Lions, and whether or not Parsons will be available is still in question. McCarthy admitted Parsons still has work to do before getting back onto the field. An ankle injury suffered against the New York Giants is what's keeping him off the field. He's got some work to do, McCarthy said on Monday via John Machoda of The Athletic. We knew this week would be a stretch. McCarthy added it's too early in the week to make a final decision on whether Parsons will play, positive for Dallas or not. Wednesday is likely when more information will be available after the Cowboys get through a few days of practice. Parsons has been one of the NFL's best players since being drafted and routinely been available. Sunday was just the second-ever game he has not played in and the first due to injury. Back during his 2021 rookie season, Parsons sat out the Week 17 finale before Dallas entered the playoffs. Sometimes, availability is the best ability. Unfortunately, Parsons could be in line to miss back-to-back -back games for the first time in his career due to the ankle injury. Detroit will likely be thankful if Parsons stays on the sideline after having a big game against them last season. He had six tackles, two TFLs, and two quarterback hits in what turned into an instant classic from AT&T Stadium. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Micah Parsons? Leave your opinion in the comments.